So let's talk about Quantum Break. First thing I need to say is uh, it's taken me a little while to get around to doing this review, primarily because I actually wanted to finish the game first. I know that might seem a little odd to some people, and I know a lot of people go out and do their reviews before they've actually played a game, but uh, I'd like to actually play through a game before I do a review, and that's why there are not that many reviews on this channel, because, well, I like to actually play the game first. So anyway, we all know that Remedy is the company that made the game, and they made Max Payne and Alan Wake. And the first thing I have to say is there is a similarity between Quantum Break and both of those games. For fun, the thrill of it, like bungee jump. Pain! in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories. Cause I'm gonna kill you. What's going on, Paul? You look fucked up. And by your fucked up standards. You took the CFR, Jack. I took it back. I don't care how messed up you are, Paul. You're not taking it from me. I don't want it! I just want a gun. But what were my impressions of the game? Well, first things first, let's talk about the bad. There's not an awful lot that I can say is really, really bad about the game. I did encounter a few glitches. Um, first thing I noticed right at the beginning, there were a couple of issues with lighting effects. Now, this only happened to me once, and when I stopped the game and restarted it, I didn't get it again. And what it was was a, a kind of blinking effect of the street lamps. I also had a problem with killing some of the characters. Uh, at one point in the game, I kind of got locked in and I couldn't kill a couple of the characters that I was trying to kill. And I had to, again, I had to restart the level. And when I played through it again, I didn't have the problem again. So uh, yeah, that was a bit of a pain, but uh, it's a minor glitch. I do hope that they patch that because, you know, that could be confusing for someone. It was confusing for me initially. Uh, the other thing, some people have moaned about the difficulty on the game, saying it's too easy, and I would have to concur. Uh, for the most part, the game is too easy. I mean, I played it initially on medium settings, and it was a breeze. It was very, very easy. And then when I played it on hard, apart from two places, again, it was pretty simple. The only problem I had there, really, was right at the very end of the game, when I played it on medium, the ending, again, was fairly easy. When I played it on hard difficulty, it seemed to ramp up the difficulty an awful lot. So the difference between medium and hard seemed way too broad just for that one level. Other than that, it wasn't too big a problem. One other thing that some people didn't like, and there's been a bit of talk about this, was the TV series aspect of the game and whether it worked or not. Now, I actually liked it, I have to say. I not sure I'd want to see it in all games, but certainly in Quantum Break it worked for me. And I know that won't be the case for everybody, and you just have to make your own mind up on that one. But yeah, uh, the TV series itself is actually very well made. Uh, it's not up there, I would say, with the very best TV, but it's certainly not down with the very worst either. So um, it's solid, well acted, well scripted and it fits in well with the game and it does fill in some of the gaps within the game so uh, yeah it's well worth watching. So then we get to some of the more positive things about the game. Um, I thought the character design and acting was superb both in the TV series and the and the game itself and I obviously touched on that just a moment ago. Some people have moaned about the level design and pacing and, well, I have to say, apart from an over-reliance on text in some places, I didn't really notice that. I actually like the idea that, you know, there are parts of the game where it slows right down and gives you a chance to catch your breath before throwing you into the next firefight. And even the over-reliance on text, which I've mentioned, <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed reading some of the text in, in this game because there are some nice little bits. There's some real humour in there if you give it the, the chance. Don't want to give away too many spoilers, but there's one bit where there's a, a script that someone's discussing that relates to time travel. And I won't go into too much detail, but I found that quite amusing. 
So yeah, I, I quite enjoyed that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as I say, the, the level design's pretty decent and pretty solid. Um, I will, I will say that I wasn't that keen on the platforming elements, although they do help to show off, you know, what the game's capable of. They do show off the the graphical content of the game and, and how well it looks, and it does look beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking game. Though there are times when that varies, particularly again, I go back to the character models. And at one point when I got into a lift, I noticed that the, the, the Sean Ashmore, is it the actor? I noticed that the character model for him wasn't anywhere near as good as it was in certain other aspects of the game. So it does vary. But anyway, back to the back to the platforming aspects. I found them were they weren't that long, to be honest, which was probably the best bit about them. And, you know, let's be honest here. Remedy haven't exactly got a great track record when it comes to platforming aspects in games. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played the original Max Payne, but um, <laughs> the dream sequences in that were not brilliant either. So, you know, I mean, as I say, they're short in this game and you can just get through them fairly rapidly. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, the story itself, I have to say, I really enjoyed the story. I don't know if any of you guys know this about me, but I've read an awful lot of science fiction. And I won't go into too much detail here, but that means I've read quite a lot of stuff relating to time travel. I've read everything from By His Bootstraps by Heinlein through to Timescape by Gregory Benford. And, you know, that's where time travel and time effects are dealt with best, I think, in, in, in the written form. TV and film often doesn't handle it particularly well and neither the games for the most part it's just used as a backdrop they don't really go into time at all and 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 the you know the interesting aspects of that and i thought to be fair to quantum break i thought it did it better than most games and probably any game actually and also dealt with it better than well, most TV series and, and most films, I've seen some god awful films over the years about time travel. And I thought Quantum Break handled that aspect particularly well. And the story was quite compelling. So, yeah, if you like a good story, then as far as games ever have good stories, this is one of the better ones for me. And I know not everyone agrees with me, but that's my take on it. Now, the combat in the game. Also, I have to say, I really enjoyed the combat when you're fighting. It feels great. You're made to feel a bit like a superhero. Uh, you always do feel under threat, though, because as you get better, as with, you know, any decent game. And I won't say that Quantum Break's the absolute pinnacle when it comes to combat. There are games that handle combat better than Quantum Break. But for a story-based game, a story-based shooter, I think the combat's pretty solid and really enjoyable. It ramps up the difficulty level as you ramp up your powers. So the challenge is kept on a decent level, apart from that one aspect I was on about on hard, where right at the end it gets a bit too difficult for my liking and felt a little bit too arbitrary for me. But anyway, play through that and decide for yourself. So then we get to another aspect that not many people have talked about relating to this game and I'm going to have to bring this up because <laughs> it's one of my pet peeves and this game does something that I'm really pleased about. Anyone watching my channel knows that one of my pet peeves is, you know, relates to DLC and season passes and all that crap that we keep having to live with these days. And so I have to give Quantum Break a massive thumbs up for the fact that it doesn't have any of that it resolutely <laughs> refuses to have any of that it doesn't have a season pass it doesn't have dlc it doesn't have microtransactions thank the lord and so you go out you buy the game or you buy it digitally you install the game you play the game and i may be an old codger here i may be well out of date and <laughs> not following with the zeitgeist or whatever but that's how i like my games to be I don't like to be having to pay extra money as time goes on for useless crap that I didn't want in the first place. Now, I know some games handle it a lot better than that, and games like The Witcher did it very well. But, you know, for the most part, DLC and season passes and things like that are just a, an excuse to print money. And so the guys at Remedy, well done. Well done. You've produced a good, solid game that's well thought out, that's got a good story and good characters, and you haven't tried to milk us. 
So thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say on that one. You know, that's pretty much all I've got to say on the game. Overall, I think it's a great game. And obviously it won't be to everyone's taste. But if you like the idea of an unashamed, story-driven, third-person shooter with pretty decent mechanics, well, I'd say great mechanics, actually, and a really good story, great design for the most part, with the exception, as I say, of those, <laughs> those <laughs> platforming levels, yeah, I would say go out and buy the game. And especially if, like me, you're a real aficionado of, of time travel and those kind of things, then... Yeah, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I really don't. And I know it's had mixed reviews, and I know some people don't like it, and I know people have been picky about it, but I think that's exactly what they're being. I think they're being picky, and I think it's a great game. And, yeah, that is my take on it. And if you don't agree with me, you know where to come. There's the comments down below. Come and tell me what you think. Did you enjoy the game? Are you playing through the game at the moment? Have you played it on hard? Have you played it on medium? Don't, whatever you do, play it on easy. And we'll have a chat about it, as usual. And that's me out. I'm done for the day. And I will speak to you again soon. Bye.